In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and configure Cumulus VX in GNS3. Cumulus Networks offer Cumulus Linux, which is a Linux-based operating system that you can run on bare metal switches. As an analogy, think of Cumulus similar to Red Hat. You can run multiple distributions of Linux on servers, but if you want support, you have the option of using Red Hat Linux. You could install Linux directly on white box switches, but if you want support and other options, Cumulus provide that for you. The idea of white box switching or disaggregation is that you no longer have a proprietary stack that you're locked into. You can now use open hardware from various vendors, and I'll show you a list in a moment. You can run a network operating system such as Cumulus Linux and install multiple applications on the Cumulus Linux operating system. On the Cumulus website, under hardware compatibility list, you can see a list of switches that Cumulus support which includes Backpack from Facebook. Backpack is Facebook's second generation modular open switch. Facebook through the Open Compute Project have made the hardware designs of their switches open source. So no longer are you locked into using proprietary hardware, software and applications, but now you can use open source hardware, open source operating systems, and open source applications in a very similar way to what's happened with compute. Here you could buy a switch from Dell or HPE or Facebook or others, which are all using Broadcom Tomahawk A6 and run Cumulus Linux on those switches. Cumulus VX is a community supported virtual appliance that allows you to preview and test Cumulus Networks operating systems without paying anything. I'm in the process of creating a Linux course specifically aimed at network engineers. Cumulus Linux is a good way to learn Linux in a networking context. Have a look on the GNS3 Academy for my Linux introductory course. But without further ado, let's get started with configuring Cumulus VX in GNS3. Now to get started, go to the GNS3 website and go to Marketplace, Appliances, and search for Cumulus VX. A bit of information about the appliances shown on the GNS3 website. Click Download Template to download it to your local computer. In this video, I'm using version 2 of GNS3 on a Mac, but the process is very similar in Windows. Go to File, Import Appliance, select the Cumulus VX appliance and click Open. We told that the appliance will be available in the multi-layer switch category. The product is Cumulus VX from Cumulus Networks. The maintainer is the GNS3 team and KVM is required. In other words, you need to run the appliance on VMware. So use VMware Fusion on a Mac as an example or VMware Workstation on a Windows PC. Click Next. We are told that the appliance should be run on the GNS3 VM. I'm gonna do that and click Next. I'm told that the server requirements are okay, so I'm gonna click Next. Now, various versions of Cumulus VX are shown here. I'm going to download the latest version because the files are missing on my local computer. So I'm gonna select the latest file and click download. I'm told that I'll be redirected to the Cumulus website. So I'm taken to the Cumulus Networks website and I can now select the version that I wanna download. So the version I wanna download is version 3.2.1, which at the time of this recording is the latest release. We need to download the KVM release because we wanna import the QCOW2 image. So I'm gonna click download. Now you need to log in to download the software. If you don't have an account, you can register for one. 
It's a free download, but you need to register to download the software. So once you have an account, log in with your email address and password and click login. Cumulus VX is automatically downloaded. There's some information available here, such as a getting started guide. You can get help from their networking community and there's some technical documentation. So all you need to do now is wait for the download to complete. The file is 1.1 gig, so it may take a while to download depending on your internet speed. But as you can see here, there's about one minute remaining for my download. And as soon as the file is downloaded, I'll continue with the video. The download has completed. So back in GNS3, I'm gonna click refresh so that GNS3 scans the download directory. And as you can see in the output here, the file has been found and version 3.2.1 is ready to be installed. So I'm gonna select version 3.2.1 and click next. We asked, do we wanna install Cumulus VX? And the answer is yes. QMU settings are displayed. I'm gonna stay with the defaults and click next. Now the Cumulus VX image is uploaded to the GNS3 VM. That may take a while because the file is once again quite large, but once it's uploaded, you can click next. Now in previous releases, the console type was VNC. We are now gonna be using Telnet. Architecture is x86 64-bit. KVM is required once again. The amount of RAM required is 256 meg. Seven adapters will be added. And this is the adapter type that will be used. I'm gonna click next. The appliance is available in the multi-layer switch category. Notice the default username is Cumulus and password is Cumulus Linux bang or exclamation mark, depending which term you use. I'm gonna click finish. We told that Cumulus VX is installed. So under switches, we now have Cumulus VX 321. So I'll drag two Cumulus switches to the workspace. I'll also drag two Ubuntu Docker containers to the workspace. And I'll connect the PC to the first switch port second PC to the first switch port of the second switch, and then I'll connect them via switch port one. Now you need to be careful with the naming here. This interface is actually switch port one. When you apply the configuration, this interface will be switch port two. GNS3 is starting the numbers at zero but on the cumulus switches, the switch ports start at switch port one rather than switch port zero. So I'm gonna adjust the topology as follows. You can make the topology nice, but I'm not gonna worry about doing that here. What I am gonna do is configure the IP addresses of the PCs. So the first PC, I'll give an IP address of 10111. The gateway in this example can be set to 10.1.1.254. And I'll also set the name server to that IP address. Now this is not a proper design. This is a very simple network. You could configure a better designed network. But in this example, I simply wanna show you how to get started with Cumulus so that you can learn Linux. I'll do something similar on the second PC, but give it an IP address of 10.1.1.2. Click Save. So what I'll do is start up the devices and I'll open up a console. The Ubuntu devices have already booted. So on the first Ubuntu, ifconfig shows us the IP address of the device. And as an example, the PC can ping itself. Second Ubuntu IF config, IP address is 10.1.1.2, and it can ping itself. 
but it can't ping PC1 and PC1 can't ping PC2. We need to configure these Cumulus Linux switches so that the PCs can ping one another. Now with the Cumulus Linux switches, they take a while to boot up. You just have to wait a while for this Cumulus login prompt to display. Depending on your computer speed, that may take a while. The username to login is Cumulus. The password is Cumulus Linux exclamation mark or bang. And as you can see, we are running a Debian based version of Linux. In this case, it's Cumulus Linux. So I'll log in on switch two, Cumulus Linux bang. At the moment, the switches have no IP addresses configured, but this is pure Linux, so we can use commands such as cat Etsy network interfaces to view the configuration of the Ethernet interfaces. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it was of benefit to you, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.